it's the 14th edition and um, we're asking everybody about their favorite awakenings memory oh my favorite awakenings memory is uh, tomorrow night uh, when I arrive here after we beat Mexico that's my favorite awakenings memory even though it hasn't happened yet I'm just saying that I'm gonna be dressed in orange and we've beaten Mexico tomorrow and uh, it's gonna be all good Anyway, that's a, that's a moment in the future. Do you have any moments that are not in the future that come to mind? Uh, yeah, four years ago when I was dressed in orange at Awakenings uh, during the World Cup. And I think we just beat Brazil. That was pretty special too. And I had loads of Vuvuzelas on, um, on my sampler. So I was just playing Vuvuzelas all night in the background. It's kind of funny. What was the last tune that you played before you got here? So it could be anything. It doesn't have to be techno oriented. That's easy. Uh, amazing snakeheads. Do you know them? No. Yeah, there you go, you will. Uh, they basically make the Arctic monkeys look like uh, teddy bears and uh, make incredible, incredible, incredible music. For me, it's going to be my album of this year, uh, Amphetamine Ballads. It's a really, really cool album. Um, yeah, I think it's fantastic. I mean, for me, my last album of last year was uh, Nick Cave's album, which I still love, Push the Sky Away, it's fantastic, but for me this year it's uh, Arty, um, sorry, um, Amazing Snakeheads with Amphetamine Ballads, it's like an amazing album, and that's the last thing I listened to before I came here. Do you still make a lot of time to listen to new music? Do you really...? Every day. Every day, I mean, like, for me just to listen to techno on its own would be very, very difficult and very, very... Uh, not what I'm about, I mean, I just love music full stop, and so I listen to new music all the time every single day, always looking for something new, always looking for something new that's old. I mean, like, that. finally that Grace Jones cover of uh, Me I Disconnect from you came out, uh, and that's really nice to listen to as well. So I always, always listen to new music all the time. What inspires you in the, in the studio nowadays? Doing lots of different things. My studio is finally finished, um, and I'm getting air conditioning put in there so I can just work all the time now. And, um, yeah, it's, it's finally finished. It's, it's really sounds amazing, sounds perfect, sounds better than my English studio. It's taken me a very, very long time to do this. Uh, working on a boat is not easy to get the acoustics right, but it sounds fucking fantastic. And um, yeah, next is to, to do a lot of work in there. And I've got busy July coming up, but from September, uh, I've got quite a lot of projects lined up with uh, bands and I'm uh, gonna be remixing and actually just, just mixing bands as well. So I'm looking forward to that massively, massively. Are you still working together with Mr. Jones? Yes, I am. He's going to be here tomorrow night. Uh, he's coming here. I only let him out one night a week, otherwise he gets excited. Um, but yeah, I work with him a lot. And uh, But it's been difficult with the lack of air conditioning. If you've got a lot of analog equipment, it just, yeah, you can't, it's okay if you've got a deadline and it's one of you in your underpants because it's so hot. But two guys in their underpants in the studio is not really the look that we're going for.